Hey, let's create a freeze application. What I'm going to do right now is generate an application in just a couple of clicks that uses a MySQL database as its data source. And it creates a web application that uses Backbone and Bootstrap to create a really clean looking application that uses a lot of modern technologies. Uh, I've got a database here called Cargo with three tables. Let's just imagine this is a simple cargo management system. What I do is I go to the Freeze Builder, and when you download Freeze, there's a folder called Builder, and just enter my connection information for my database and hit Analyze Database. This takes me to a screen where I can see all of this information about my tables, and there's a few settings I can change. I'm going to leave all the defaults except this last one, long polling. I'm going to enable that, and I'll explain what that does once we get the application running. Click Generate Application. What that does is it gives me a zip file. I'm going to expand that. And this folder is my web application. I'm going to drag this over to my web server root. Once I've done that, just need to set the permissions so the web server can read that. Now let's open it up in the browser. We're looking at the launch page of the application. And you can see up here at the top, these are my three tables from the database. And if I click on those, I've got a little editor for each of those. So let's take a look at the packages page. So we've got a table view of the records in our database. We've got pagination. This is all happening uh, with AJAX calls using collection and model binding. If I click one of these records, uh, it brings up a modal window styled using Bootstrap. We've got different editors based on the field type from the database. So for example, this first one is a uh, foreign key relationship. And so it shows up as a dropdown it lets me select a record from the other table. Uh, we've got a regular uh, var car. We've got a text, uh, text field that shows up as a text area and a nice date picker as well. I'm gonna go ahead and make a change to this. So let's take a look at the tracking number field. This is an update. I hit save and there we can see the record has been updated. This all happened using the uh, model binding provided by Backbone. I'm gonna go to the customers table open up a record there, and I'm going to show you some validation. This field level it expects an integer, but instead let's put in some letters. When I try to save it, I get a message that says it's not a valid number, lets the client know that there was an error, and shows a message to the user. One more thing, I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm going to drag this tab off to the side so that we can see them both. So let's go in and edit this number one where it says updated here. I'm editing in this window, and I'm going to change it to XYZ and hit save. Now let's watch this other window. You see the change? The long polling is actually contacting the server periodically looking for updates. So I'm going to stop there. I'll be making more videos showing how this technology works and how you can customize these applications. Thanks for watching.